Hello, Peace Family. I'm Pastor Carl, and this is my wife, Leisha. Hello. Have you ever been in a situation where you really needed someone to be there for you? You looked around and you realized, or at least you felt like no, there was nobody you could count on. It's not a good feeling, and yeah, I've been there and done that. Well, I hope today's devotional is going to give us some encouragement for those times when life lands us in uncomfortable spots where you feel all alone, trapped. You can't run. There's nowhere to escape. You're just there. The title of today's devotional is Someone to Count On. And it's taken from a passage of scripture that you may or may not be familiar with. Some have called it God's telephone number. It's Jeremiah 33 and 3. <laughs> For the sake of context, we're going to read verses 1 and 2 as well. <laughs> Listen to what it says. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was shut up in the court of the guards. Thus said the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. I will call on me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things that you've never known before. My most recent encounter with feeling like this in this dark place was during this COVID-19 pandemic. It was during this time that those restrictions that I was unable to be with my best friend, my wife. I had to listen to the diagnosis of the doctor telling me I had cancer. Just looking at that doctor there in the hospital bed with the two PAs surrounding my the bed. I've never met, seen them before. I couldn't look into the loving eyes and uh, see the encouraging, uh, hear the encouraging words from my dear wife. Alicia, I know as you were sitting here at home, you probably felt some kind of way as well. Yeah, yeah. I was a complete basket case because I couldn't be with you at the hospital. And then I had to drop you off at the mm -hmm. emergency room outside the in. hospital. And, you know, and then having to hear this devastating news via FaceTime, it, 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 it just, it sent me over the edge. It, it was really a dark time. Yeah, and Jeremiah was likely feeling along too in that dark place while he was in jail. That's when the word of the Lord came to him to speak comfort to his ears and God reminded him of how awesome he was. You see, most of our problems are in this earthly physical realm. And no matter how dreadful the situation may be, we must never allow our problems to become bigger than our God. Our God is the one who made the earth, he formed it, he established it. When pandemics overwhelm this world and the calamities try to drive all of our hope, we need to remember that God has the whole world in his hands and that he can do things that we've never even known or considered. Leisha, I'm sure that you've got something to say about this awesome God. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. My favorite part of that scripture is call me. When the sovereign God of the universe says, call me, yeah. I mean, just think about it. The God who keeps the earth spinning on, on its axis perfect, perfectly and the God who puts breath in our mm -hmm. nostrils minute by minute, mm -hmm. this is the very same God who graciously invites us to call him. Um, and not only does he invite us to call him, but he says he'll answer and he'll show us great and mighty things which we did not know. And this really blesses me because Every time I call him, he shows me his greatness. Mm -hmm. He gives me peace and strength and hope and divine wisdom. And he always, always makes a way. Yeah. And God told Jeremiah that his name is what he could count on. After God reminded him how awesome he was, he simply said at the end of verse 2, The Lord is my name. The psalmist said, Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we're going to trust in the name of the Lord yeah. our God. Yeah. No matter where you are right now in that uncomfortable place, you need to know that our God is able to deliver you from anything and he can do more than we can ever ask or think. Yeah. As we approach another Easter Sunday, imagine how Jesus must have felt as the very people he came to save were screaming, crucify him. As he bore the sins of the world on the cross, he expressed his own agony when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Oh, but that's not how the story ends. He died and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again just so we could have eternal life. Aren't you glad we've got a God in heaven right now that we can always depend on? Call on God today. Let him show you some great and wonderful things that you've never seen before. Why? Because he can always, he will always be someone you can count on. May the peace of God be with you always. Amen.